Imagine a football game with two minutes left in the fourth quarter. Your team needs a touchdown to win the game, and you can choose which quarterback will lead your team to victory. Who would you rather have under center, Tom Brady or Peyton Manning? This is a debatable topic sports fans have been arguing since the past decade on which quarterback is the more superior one. I believe Peyton Manning is a superior quarterback to Tom Brady because he is a more valuable player. He has generated better statistics throughout both of their careers, and he has accomplished more in his career than Brady. First reason why I believe Manning is superior to Brady is because he is a more valuable player than Brady. Manning was a top prospect out of high school and college, and he was selected number one overall in the 1998 NFL Draft. He had pressure on him to perform successfully coming into the league. Brady, on the other hand, was a sixth round, 199th draft pick, in the 2000 NFL Draft. He didn't have that pressure to succeed like Manning did, which made Manning, Manning instantly that much better. He is also more valuable and upscale because he has acquired more MVPs in his career than Brady. Brady has four total MVPs, two league and two Super Bowl, while Manning has six total MVPs, five league and one Super Bowl. This shows how much more important Manning is to his team than Brady. Manning has also proved to be the more valuable player than Brady when both quarterbacks were injured and sat out for a full season. Brady's team was in 2008 finished 11-5 with a losing effort for a berth to the playoffs. Manning's team in 2011 finished 2-14, the worst record and team in the league that year. All of these reasons show why Manning is superior to Brady. The second reason why I believe Manning is superior to Brady is because he has generated better statistics throughout both of their careers. The following are stats comparisons between both quarterbacks throughout head-to-head -head matches. This comparison shows that Manning has posted a better completion percentage and also he has a better quarterback rating which measures the performance of the quarterback in all games. You could also measure the QBR of a quarterback for a full season. Since 2006, Manning has the best QBR in the league for a season of 87.2. Brady's best season was in 2007, but he still only managed to put up a QBR of 87.1. This shows how Manning is much more productive when it comes to the quarterback position. These stats and numbers also show why Manning is superior to Brady. The third reason why I believe Manning is superior to Brady is because Manning has accomplished more in his career with little compared to Brady. For example, Brady has played his entire career with the same head coach and the same system in New England. What about Manning? He has played his entire career under four different head coaches, with all the different coaches bringing in a new system into Indianapolis and Denver. But even while playing under those new systems, Manning has still managed to bring his team into the playoffs and create a good team out of it almost every season. This shows how much more efficient, productive, and consistent Manning is with this team compared to Brady. Brady also had the blessing of a great defense over the years, ranked 6th overall in the league, while Manning's defense was ranked a putrid 29th in the league. Manning had to put more weight and carry the team on his shoulders unlike Brady, in which he had his defense to bail him out if things weren't going right. These reasons show why Manning is superior to Brady. There are also people who say Tom Brady is the superior quarterback to Peyton Manning. Many people will argue that Tom Brady is the better quarterback because he has more Super Bowl rings. But we must remember that football is the ultimate team sport. Tom Brady won each of his three Super Bowls by three points. And two of those wins were decided by the kicker Adam Minitari, not Tom Brady. He also had his sixth ranked defense to back him up. People might also say Tom Brady is the better quarterback because he has won more playoff games. A few of those games that Manning has played weren't even his fault. For example, in the 2012 season, when the Broncos were playing the Ravens, the Broncos' safety failed to make a play which allowed the Ravens to tie the game with a 70-yard touchdown pass with 30 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Also in his last playoff game with the Colts against the Jets, the head coach of the Colts called a timeout when the Jets had the ball, the clock was running, and the Colts were leading. This extra time allowed the Jets to drive into field goal range and win the game. People might also say that Tom Brady is more clutch than Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning has over 40 fourth quarter comeback wins and holds the record for most fourth quarter game winning drives with 51 throughout his career. 
This debunks the myth that he isn't clutch. Even though Peyton Manning's career resume may not look better than Tom Brady's, he is essentially the superior quarterback to Tom Brady. When people asked NFL analyst Ron Jaworski about Manning, Jaworski said, he's the best player that's ever played this game as far as quarterbacks are concerned. When he's retired, they'll compare everybody to Peyton Manning without a doubt. Jaworski also added that Manning is mentally tougher than Brady and that Manning has been to the Pro Bowl more than any quarterback including Brady. Unlike Tom Brady and his team, Peyton Manning and his team has never cheated throughout both of their careers. Since Spygate, Tom Brady has never won a Super Bowl. Also since Spygate, Peyton Manning actually has a winning record against Tom Brady in both the regular and postseason. After comparing both of these quarterbacks, we should be able to see clearly that Peyton Manning is the superior quarterback to Tom Brady.